Dandy's World is one of Roblox's newest horror games. With a variety of characters known as tunes to choose from, your job is to collect tapes, extract hardcore from machines, and survive the deeper you go. With every couple floors, both the amount of extraction machines and dangerous twisted start going up. In this video, we'll be teaching you all the ins and outs of how to get to floor 20 and further beyond. Starting with the tune you pick, any tune with 3 star movement speed and 3 star stamina are great choices. All except for Razzle and Dazzle, as they get worse movement speed on even numbered floors. Trinkets are important items because they can provide that boost you need to complete a floor. Some of them consistently help out your personal survival or can assist in your task progression. The first great options are Speedy Shoes and Wrench. They're both available in Dandy Shop in the lobby. Additionally, if your tune's movement speed is already very high, Dog Plush is a great trinket to run with, allowing you to walk more often, it'll keep your stamina bar nearly full almost all the time. If your tune's stamina is high, Pink Bow might be a good option, but Speedy Shoes are more versatile. You can unlock the Pink Bow by completing Twisted Poppy's research. Whether you choose to run survival or faster extract is up to you or the group you're playing with. Now with a solid setup, let's get into surviving in-game. If you can, always try to play with friends. Playing solo can get a bit tedious and slow. If you need people to play with, join our Discord, there's plenty of great players that could help. Twisteds have a pretty simple AI. While being chased as soon as you hide and lose LOS, line of sight, their attention span timer starts ticking down. Staying out of LOS for long enough lets them de-aggro, potentially getting them to walk away. Some Twisteds have different attention span times, Toodles having the shortest and some of the main characters having the longest. This will require you to evade for longer for some tunes to lose aggro. Twisteds also have an instant aggro bubble. If you're close enough, even behind them, they'll start chasing you. And finally, almost all of them have different sight ranges. Pubble having the furthest eyesight, allowing him to run at you from almost all the way across the map. This should be obvious, but you should avoid dead ends and pockets to prevent cornering yourself. If it twisted is too close, trying to hide in a pocket has a very low chance of working. So instead, when you're in game, keep an eye out for islands. These are obstacles or walls where you can walk around in a complete circle. The smaller, the better. Islands are used to run down Twisted's attention span timers, so by playing near islands, you can repeatedly wrap around to the opposite side of the obstacle and lose aggro in the most efficient way, keeping your stamina bar barely touched. Stamina management is another important mechanic people overlook. Without it, you'll find yourself in situations where you may be dodging one Twisted and then be ambushed by another coming from the other side, leaving you with a lot less stamina, almost guaranteeing you to lose a heart. So what do you do to keep good stamina? The first thing is to never start sprinting unless you need to. Sprinting around and panic thinking just makes you start out your escape with less stamina than you'd hope for. Secondly, do not go into risky spots with anything less than 120 stamina. It's always better to have excess stamina for tricky situations than trying to speedrun a floor. You'll end up leaving things to chance and hoping you'll regen just enough stamina to barely live on. The third thing is to always try to run in a very straight line. Aim for the corner of something and get behind cover to lose LOS. Any wiggles in your movement means it'll take longer to get where you need, forcing you to use up more stamina. So take a moment and calm down. Think about your choices before getting into risks, and prioritize staying near islands if you can. Item ranking doesn't really matter too much. Just make sure to prioritize med kits, bandages, and items to help you escape with ease. Eject button is one of the best items, and other speed boost items follow right after. Just don't forget to use them while you still have stamina, or else you're just gonna waste all that bonus movement speed walking instead of running. If your tune has great movement speed and you have an active playstyle, stamina items like pop and protein bars could also come in clutch. Sometimes, you can fall into some bad luck and end up with Twisteds on both sides of an island you're on. Initially, you might panic here, but try this. Choose the side with the slower Twisted and juke them. Then try wrapping around the island to lose their LOS and attention span. This should put more distance between you and the faster Twisted, increasing your chances of surviving. And when it comes to Goob and Scrap, um, yeah, we don't talk about them. At least not in this video. There should be a link in the description or a pinned comment if and when we do make videos on them. 
subscribe so you won't miss out on those videos. Make sure to catch our live streams and see you in the Discord.